Happy New Year, YouTube. It's 2023, and I start the year off with setting up my kid's Christmas gift, the Spalding 54-inch backboard adjustable height basketball hoop. This year, they are enrolled in organized sports for the first time, so I thought this gift would be great for their development. I chose this particular setup because of the price, the size, and the easy ability to raise and lower the height. I start off with unpacking all the pieces and getting familiar with the manual. Organizing all the working parts and separating the garbage is very important to me. It allows me to see everything more clearer. I found the wheels and the manual suggest to attach those first. The bags with the nuts and bolts come labeled and careful not to open them all up at the same time as mixing the parts could get confusing. Poles come labeled with top, middle, and bottom. The manual suggests to measure three and a quarter inches on top of each pole and have each piece reach the measurement when they overlap. I had to reference the manual a few times because I wanted to make sure what I was reading. I asked my wife to help when installing the poles to the base. When I was installing the sidebars, I noticed that I had made a critical mistake and had to undo what I did and redo the installing. The mistake is that the pole needs to be at an angle and not straight up. The sidebars will connect to the base and serve to hold the other piece that allows the basketball to bounce off and bounce to you after it falls through the basket. Again, another mistake I did, I tightened the bolts too much and had to untighten to make sure that the holes aligned correctly to secure the bounce back shield. The next step is assembling the arm that controls the raising and lowering of the backboard height. The handle comes pre-assembled and the piece that secures and locks in the height adjustment does also. Thank god I bought a 6 foot ladder earlier this year. I wanted a larger one but I couldn't fit it in my car. So this size definitely came in handy and I definitely needed it so that I could secure the arm to the middle pole. The next step required a horse saw, which I don't own, but lucky for me I had three bins that I was able to use to lay this huge assembly on its side. I would not recommend this setup because it could slide on you as it did for me later in the video. If you do use a setup like this, make sure that the bins aren't empty because the weight could make it collapse. When attaching the bars to the side of the top pole, you have to use the bolt in a circular motion in the hole it goes through to scratch off some of the excess paint so that it slides in properly. Again, I mess up and I had to raise the longer bars so that the holes align. The manual suggests to not tighten it all the way and it had a specific recommendation about this in order for the piece to rotate with ease when adjusting the height. I got really nervous about installing the backboard and it is better to do it with someone else to get the bolts inside the holes and make sure that the whole piece is secured. In my case, when I held up the backboard, I asked my son to stick the bolt through the specific hole so that it can hang without crashing to the floor. There is a lot of imagination and visualizing that is needed when assembling. 
you almost have to predict how these moving parts will move so that you can work on the next step. I had a very difficult time installing the spring. I had to visualize the movement in order to find the best and safest way to install and connect that spring. Once the backboard was installed, I secured all the bolts as specified in the manual. I installed the borders to the bottom of the backboard and then began the steps to secure the rim. Read the instructions carefully and look at all the drawings because this is another area that got me confused on how to secure the rim properly. But once I figured out the setup, it all made sense. Finally, attach the net to the rim. As per the instructions on the pole, the best way to stand this is to lower the height to the lowest setting and stand it the same way the diagram suggests. I try to follow it, but because of the weight and the plastic bin setup, I couldn't raise it all the way. What worked best for me was to grab the base and pull it down to the ground, and it stood right up. I rolled it into place and I had bought two 50 pound bags of sand from Home Depot for $6 each and I placed it towards the back of the base and around the pole. I got it done. It took me most of my early afternoon but it was worth to see it complete and of course to see the kids have fun. You should put something. You should kind of like pause it when you get to the net. And you should put basketball by YouTube. Thanks for being awesome. That's why you, you, you teach it, Tommy. No, Tommy, no more For New Year's Eve, we met my folks at Uncle Julio's restaurant. The staff treated us well, and the food was very tasty. We like to meet over food on special occasions and holidays. We like to be together, and hopefully in the future we can plan my wife's family to join us as well. The food was well prepared. My dad and my mom shared the grilled shrimp dish and a salmon dish. My wife and kids had their own chicken fajitas with rice and beans. My brother had the chicken tacos. And I had the carnitas bowl without the sour cream. The drinks were good, the place was clean, the ambience was nice. I would definitely recommend and return again in the future. Not too creamy. Yeah, that's good. Lila, how is it, baby? Is it good? That's it? Good? Subscribe to our videos. 
Make sure to leave a comment, thumbs up. Go to all of our videos on YouTube. We'll be coming up with some more videos, more action, more toys, and more adventures. Just type in L-I-F-E-A-S-D-A-T. Subscribe.